Hello, my name is Caden or Nijag One More, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make all three members of the Upley from Ninjago uh, Master of the Mountain. So, I'm not going to waste any time. Here is Fungus, kind of the leader of the Lowly slash Upley. So, to make him, I used the legs from um, Deepstone Lloyd, the hip piece from uh, Legacy 2 Lloyd, I'm pretty sure that is. The torso from one of the Mandalorians from the Mandalorian Battle Park. Uh, the arms from, I think, a pizza delivery guy with some brown hands. Uh, this face is from a Snake Charmer CMF, I think. And then this hair is just from uh, a Lego City female. And then the cape <coughs> is from one of the Lego Batman movie CMFs. Um, from this guy who's like, he's like made up of clocks. Um, yeah, here's the back of him. And... For an accessory, I didn't really know what to get. Well, I, I would have given him his hat, but I don't know where his hat is. So instead, I've just given him this little spider to represent Adam. Because I don't do brick built um, customs or mocks or whatever. So yeah, here's this spider. So I guess we've got all four members of the Upley uh, in this video. But yeah, now onto the next custom. So here's Plundar. Uh, the legs are from a barbarian CMF. Uh, and so are the torso and arms. I could not tell you the exact ones, but it's probably between CMF series 8 and 14, maybe, ish, give or take. I don't know. So do with that what you will. The armor piece is from the Lego Movie 2. This face is just from Lego City. You can see there it's kind of faded, which is annoying, but yeah. And then the hair is from... <clears throat> Uh, the wrestler CMF figure. Uh, for an accessory, I'd probably give him his axe, which comes in the Skull Sorcerer's Dungeon, I believe. Um, so, yeah, here's here's my custom core grant. Probably one of my best uh, LEGO custom figures. It looks so accurate to the actual core grant. Uh, there's the alternate face. Um, if you don't have this face, uh, you could use the one from... Um, this might be the one, I'm not too sure. But the face from the Shark Suit CMF from series 15, 16, I think 15, um, would probably work quite well. Uh, but yeah, here's Corgrant, and then now uh, the final custom. So here's Plundar, he uses the legs from Rex Danger Vest, as well as the arms from Rex Danger Vest from uh, the LEGO Movie 2. He uses the torso from uh, a LEGO Movie 2 figure, who comes in a set with Batman and Metal Beard. Uh, it was only about £20. I'm not quite sure what the set was called. And the the figure that comes with this torso also comes with Corgrand's armor piece. So, uh, yeah, if you're trying to make all these customs, you can use that one figure for two of them. The face, I'm using Cole's face. I'm not quite sure what face I could use. I did have a better face, but the mask wouldn't fit on with it properly for some reason. So, Cole's face is kind of just like a substitute, but it works. It gets the point across. And then this um, mask is from, um, I think it's from Soul Archer from uh, Season 5. If you don't want to, if you don't have this, you could use one of the Legacy Ghosts. Uh, that would also work. Or if not, you could just give him his hair. He uses the flat Tony Stark hair. Um, and yeah, that is that would uh, also work too, which because it's the hair he has in the show. Um, but yep, that is all the customs. Uh, I'll get them all now and line them all up together. Uh, here we go. So here's all the lowly slash upley. Um, hopefully you like the customs, and I'll see you later. Bye.